Welcome to Dude RV. And I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right. Just in time for another edition of Friday's Finds. And this is going to be the bug-free patio edition of Friday's Finds. I spend every evening, I'm sitting out here on the patio watching the birds, burning wood, having an adult beverage. And sometimes the bugs get a little out of hand. Shortly after we moved to this location, I went in search for a good solution to control the bugs, but I didn't want to use chemicals uh, and bug zappers don't zap mosquitoes. They zap everything but mosquitoes. And in my research, I found the Dynatrap. This is the Dynatrap. If you're not familiar with the Dynatrap, it's not a bug zapper. It's a bug trapper. So let, let me move this inside. And the one thing, your Dynatrap needs to be upwind of where you're spending time because it emits... Uh, traces of CO2 that mimic your exhalations. So you want it upwind so the mosquitoes follow that trail, not your trail. So let me go get that and we'll talk about our first Friday's Finds product. It's not really the Dynatrap, but that is a product. If you're wanting to know, does the Dynatrap work? There's a whole lot of bugs. The Dynatrap works is, is it's an entra entrapment, so it's got this super fine screen. Then there's a fan. And then we have inside a light. And that light has the light the light has a coating. It's a ultraviolet light, a black light, and it has a coating on it that is what releases that CO2 to mimic your breath. Tracking down those lights here locally has become an issue. Our first sponsor, Kit Mip. Kit Mip. They actually provide a two-pack of the bulbs for the Dynatrap. And that's what they look like. And you have to, you need to replace these about every three months, every 90 days or so, for them to continue emitting the, the CO2. This is a very effective way to help control the bugs. But sometimes the bugs are evading, avoiding the Dynatrap. I don't know, maybe they figured out what it is. So another way that I have found to be very effective at controlling those biting insects are hummingbirds. I love my hummingbirds. Not only are the hummingbirds fun to watch, but they have to eat a whole lot of little small bugs because they don't just survive off of the, the nectar. That's, that's like crack. That's, <laughs> that's, that's speed for the, for the, for the hummingbirds. They actually eat like a third of their weight. And I don't quote me on this. They eat a lot of mosquitoes. So you want to have them coming around. Our next sponsor, Bilantan. They sent us a cool hummingbird feeder. It actually has two ways to display it. So you can mount it on the window with suction cups. I guess you would mount the suction cups and then hang the We need, we need some glass. Go on. We need some glass. Well, 
that way you can hang out in your office or your living room and watch the hummingbirds come and eat. Or, but wait, there's more. Don't break it, dude. But wait, there's more. The other way is to hang it, which is what int interests me. So you've got these little rods. I'll go down in the hole in the threaded area. And we have this little chain. We can hang it right there. We need to put some nectar in it and see if we can get some video of some hummingbirds coming to dine. So let me go let me go track down some of that. Meanwhile, moving on to our next product. So when it when it comes to hummingbird nectar. You got to be careful because if, if you just mix up sugar and water, sugar promotes a fungal growth that can do harm to the hummingbirds. And if you just run down and buy something like this, you st you're still faced with the same problem. And you've got to replace that nectar for like every two days if, if it's just sitting there in the sun naturally fresh i've been using this for years this is it contains a natural or natural micronutrients that keeps the nectar fresh longer and you'll 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 know when it's time to replace the nectar because the the birds will fly up to it and they'll inspect it and they'll leave <laughs> they'll just they just won't come take take advantage of it and they really seem to respond better to this than any other product that i've ever used and this one bag will make makes up to 96 ounces of protected nectar for hummingbirds i'm a firm believer i've been using that since i found it three years ago uh, and the birds love it so let's mix up some nectar and see if we can get some birds to pay a visit and take advantage of our free nectar. I cleaned out all the dead bugs and put the new bulb in. You can hear the fan running. And of course the light, you can kind of tell that it's on. It being a UV light, it's, it, it, it doesn't put out a whole lot of light. But I'm going to go hang it back up, and after dark, we'll walk around and take a look at it. Thought I'd better get out here and show you this before it starts pouring down. There you go. <laughs> we have two more bug, bug solutions. The next thing on this bug-free patio edition of Friday's Finds, our next product that we're going to talk about. Our next thing. Thing. We're going to open a box, and we'll go from there. Live plants. There's only... These are made in America. There's only a couple of vendors that actually carry this on uh, any retail shopping platform. They did a great job packaging this thing up. 
that's for sure. I got it out. So this is actually a live plant. This is a Saracenia, also known as the pitcher plant. And they are, they're, they're native to North America. I've been a huge fan of the Saracenia for quite some time. These eat bugs like no tomorrow. By the end of the summer, I mean, these, these pit, pictures are, a lot of them are, let's see if we can get a look down there. There's some bugs in there. They're, they're bog plants. They have to, you want to keep them wet. They're not real delicate. Keep them wet. They like direct sun. They don't care if it gets hot. You don't want to use tap water. You want to use pure water. Uh, either distilled rain water or condensate water from your air conditioner. Provided they haven't used any chemicals to clean the coils. Because the, the plants will die if, if, there's, if the mineral content is too high. We got one more product to go for this bug-free edition of Friday's Finds. So our final item on the bug-free patio edition of Friday's Finds. They say it's an indoor product, but I have found that it works great on the patio. Just don't let it get wet. Apparently, Flies like Digicam. <laughs> These, they're the, the rescue indoor fly trap stick. Fly trap stick. They work great. Not just for flies. So I have four. I lost, lost one to the wind. But you can look at that and you can see. It's more than just flies. It works extremely well with any kind of flying insect. And they make big yellow jacket traps as well. The indoor fly trap stick on the patio. Guarantee they are going to reduce. Not going to eliminate. You can't eliminate the bugs unless you put a screen up. That's an idea. But anyway, you, you can't, if you've got an open patio, you can't eliminate the bugs, but you can reduce their population and keep them from biting you. And that's the key. You, don't, you just want a, a bug bite free patio. That brings us to the end. This is a quick one. Didn't take very long to show these four products. I love my Saracenia plants. They're very forgiving. Make sure you have too much water and that they can get bugs. Don't fertilize them. Don't baby them. Just put them outside. Keep them wet. And with that, we're going to sit down and hopefully, hopefully get to see some hummingbirds come and pay us a visit because one hummingbird will eat almost its weight in mosquitoes. That's a lot of little bugs. Anyway, we're done. If you found some value, please click on, oh, all of these items are available on, of course, on Amazon. There'll be a link in the card and in the description below. And that link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV gear recommendations page on Amazon. 
and you can see all of the Friday Finds products, as well as the uh, 700 or so other product videos that I have made on Amazon. If you got nothing else to do. All right. If you found some value entertainment, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up and blast it out across your social media. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you spending time with me. And for my patrons, I'm so grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?